Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to present to you guys episode 1 of my career for WWE 2K15 Next Gen on PS4. We are powered by Elgato Gaming, so go ahead and get this thing a thumbs up for Elgato supporting the 60 frames per second. But, just to let you guys know, a lot of people had questions about why my guy retired or got fired after just only one match. Y'all didn't get the drugs? I recorded that gameplay in San Fran early, but this is my created character for WWE 2K15, but I know a lot of people are probably going to say, what happened to the face scan? What happened to the you having your own face in this game? Well, let me tell you what went wrong and what didn't happen. So I took a picture of myself and I tried to put a template around it. Uh, I try to make it transparent, try to cut my ears off, try to make my face as as close as to the skin tone as I could for this creative fighter, and I just could not get it done. I don't know if I need professional help or, you know, if I need, like, a graphic designer to help me out with it. Um, if you guys know anybody that has created themselves in WWE 2K15 and it looks darn decent... Go on ahead and leave their name inside the comment section or even share this video with them, letting them know that I need their help. Like, very, very much I need their help. Now, if you go to my Twitter, um, you guys will see the images of me trying to put my face on my character. It was a total fail. Um, I even got a, a little bit of advice from Tubby Emu, and he was letting me know that, you know, you have to make it the same color, you got to make it transparent. You got to make it round. All of this crazy stuff. And oh my gosh. I just gave up. You know, I was trying it for about maybe about a week or two. Um, I had the game probably a few days early. And I was trying ever since then to try to get myself into the game. And it just was not working. So, you know, it's all right. You know, maybe I can do it later by uh, editing this character's face. Um, most likely I probably can. But for right now, this is the way he's going to look. Um, I can tell you guys a little bit about him. Uh, his tattoos, he has like skulls and everything as the sleeves on his arm. And he has a very big lion's head on his back. Now, as for his attire, I just went with the template. And, you know, the template was red. And I just went with it. But the reason that I like this attire so much is because I went with something like a kickboxer slash, you know... MMA slash Muay Thai slash I don't know my fighter just does it all you guys are gonna see here with my specials that my fighter Kind of does everything you guys can tell by the jabs the crosses uh, The back spinning kicks the sweeps <laughs> Everything I'm doing is just just a, a weird fighting style that anybody will wrestle with it's pretty funny But you know it is what it is now as for my coming out um, for the entrance my attire is a little different. Um, I kind of kept him having the same shoes on. He does have his hand wraps on. And he has, I think, black cargo pants and a red uh, polo t-shirt with a leather vest. Now, the funny thing is, I know you guys are like, that's like the weirdest thing to wear. That, that, that makes no sense in combination. So, when you guys see the next video... You're going to see that my guy's pants actually look like they're leather. They look like they're leather cargoes. It's so hilarious. And uh, the last thing he has is a king's uh, crown on his head. So, you know, I try to make it as close as I could to come around, you know, for the name of my fire as a king. And I saw the crown and I just said, you know what, let me throw it on. Now, um, just to talk about this match real fast, this is the first character that I lost against um, when I was in uh, San Fran. And the reason that I lost is because I knew I wasn't going to be able to record so much of my career footage. So I just said, you know what, I'll show the cutscene of when a person gets retired or, you know, something like that. I didn't get fired. I just hit the retire button and quit out. So, you know, that was the cutscene that you guys saw him crying a little bit, you know, sniffling. So, you know, you don't got to make too much big sense of that. But check me out as I kick out of that. Yo, I don't know how I kicked out. I know I had a lot of time on my hands with a lot of uh, bar left, but it caught me off guard totally when I was playing. I didn't even know he had that move in his arsenal. 
But does anybody notice that I'm getting my ass kicked a little bit? Like, I thought that I had this fight in the bag. But it seems like trying to get these reversals, man. I'm Like I said, I'm, I'm always late or I'm always early, man. I, I don't know. But I come back with the counter, hit him with a few shots. He comes back with a counter of his own. And check this out. I tried to reverse it <laughs> too fast. It got DDT. Oh, my God. But luckily... The person that I'm fighting has terrible stamina. Now, I guess you can kind of say that I'm cheating here because when I played him in San Fran, my stamina was low as well. But the first thing I did when I created my fighter, my attribute points went straight to stamina because I knew I would be able to withstand uh, taking a lot of shots, giving a lot of shots. And, you know, when doing my signature and my finisher, I wouldn't be too tired to power pin somebody. But uh, check me out as I get that reversal. I back up, get him with a nice little back spinning kick. I'm doing my thing with this kick. Now, I will tell you this. My moves are very, very, I guess you could say cheese because the jab can hit you if, you do, if you're doing the jab. Also, that when they get close and they're about to give their uh, moves a chance, that sweeping kick takes them totally out of the play. When you sweep kick, you drop. So when they try to grab you or hit you, it's nothing that they can do. But this right here is my signature. Giving them a little bit of that. Oh, check out my feet. Watch my feet. Watch my feet. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Now, check this out. As soon as he's done his signature, he kind of moves right into the finisher, which, in fact, is another. Give me that. Pa, pa, pa. Cha, cha, cha. Hitting him like a nice little heavy bag. Got to give him the business. Now, of course, you guys know I'm about to win this match because... <laughs> I get this dude a signature and a finisher. So I am the winner by a pinfall. You guys can expect to see me go. I guess I'm going to go face. I'm not going to go heel yet. I'm going to make sure that I get my rep up, get my fans up. But once I get my fans up, just know there's going to be a Russo swerve in there somewhere. Best believe it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who I'm going to combine myself with or align myself with, but I know when it does come. You guys will be the first to know. Trust and believe that. But I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. If you are an up-and-coming YouTuber or an aspiring YouTuber or you want to be a live streamer on Twitch or MLG, I advise you guys to get an Elgato HD60. It records in 60 frames per second, 1080p, 720p, whatever you like. The link is inside the description. Or you can use the code IKC for a discount on the website. But I advise you guys to use the link. This is IKC signing out and I'm going to highlight you on the next video. Peace. Yeah.